So, in this video, I'm going to show you my top 10 convenience store food in Japan. As travelers coming to Japan, I know people want to go to all these different cool restaurants and shops and go out, but sometimes you just want to stay in the hotel or maybe the Airbnb and just have a snack. As a local, I'm going to show you my favorite convenient food that I buy when I go home and just want to chill. Alright, let's get started. It's kind of hot. Curry pan! Number 10, fried curry bun from daily. Pan means bread in Japanese. Daily is owned by a big bakery company called Yamazaki. Usually, convenience stores sell pre-made packaged bread, but Daily does it with a freshness. So, I just heated it up a little bit, put it in the toaster. It's actually got a little bit burnt a little bit. Still freaking ready to go. Let's just open this bad boy up. Wow. Nah, that's a strong, strong curry smell. It's a little bit oily, like you can tell, it's like oil is coming from my fingers. I just know that it's been fried and fried and fried. Mm. The crunchiness is amazing. It's almost like a, like a donut. Really, really crispy fried donut with curry inside. And if you like fried food and you like curry, then you're definitely gonna love this thing. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Like, I can hear how crispy it is. Mmm. Mmm. I really like it. <laughs> super, super crispy, like a thin crust. You would think this is really heavy because it's like fried. It is oily, but it's super light. Curry is really good too. It's you know, like a sweet Japanese curry, which I really like. Number nine. Ikura onigiri from Lawson. What I like about Lawson is that they also have a health conscious line of food. And check out these healthy packaged side dishes and Lawson farmed vegetables. Yes, they have their own farm. So there's so many types of onigiri in all the different kombinis. This one is actually Michael's favorite. I'm not much of an onigiri fan because she recommended it. This is gonna make our top 10 list. Now, this in fact is one of those more premium ones. There's 100 yen onigiri. This one is 162 yen, which is kind of like a grade above. It comes in this premium package. What else could you ask for? Little insider tip. This line of onigiri usually uses koshi hikari rice from Niigata. It's like the rice version of Wagyu beef. There's so much ikura in here. I'm gonna take one half and eat it and then give the other half to Michael. Let's take a bite of this. Look at that. Mmm. -hmm. That's pretty good. I love how the ikura just like pops in your mouth and then all of like the juices and the flavors just like burst and explode. A little like saltiness of the ikura balls. You would think that the rice and the seaweed would like really be bad, but it's still pretty fresh. So. Usually the seaweed wraps and rice are packaged separately to keep it crisp, like this. Hmm, now I guess this is why like in Japan, people love onigiri. You know, if you need a snack, you can just pick up an onigiri, it's, you can like put it in your pocket, put it in your bag, and then like an hour later when you get hungry, you just like eat it. This is like the one of the most convenient foods here in Japan. It's like better than, should I say a sandwich? So this is my favorite, it's like go-to when I don't know what to get. Mmm! Ikura, it's not really like puchi puchi, but um, it's really like mild. I think it's marinated. It's really mild and like this rich taste is like soaked into the rice. It's just so good. A lot of like different kombini does sell ikura onigiri, but this place is the best one. And this premium package makes it even better. Number 8. Side Dishes from Family Mart Family Mart is my comfort conveni. It always has something I want. Their hot deli always shows up. Plus, they're known for unique side dishes called Okasan Shokudo, which means Mama's Kitchen. Alright, what's also cool about convenience stores is you don't need to get, you know, the full meal deal. You can actually get some little appetizers for just snacking and maybe even drinking. I wanted to show you my favorite. This is spicy ika, which is spicy squid. And this is nankotsu yaki. Look at that. It's its own 
freaking tray. It's amazing, so ingenious. But it wouldn't be complete without a beer. The thing is right now, I'm not really drinking so much. So I wanted to tell you guys about my little secret. Suntory all free. Mmm, I've tried other non-alcoholic drinks. This one is my favorite. So if you ever come to Japan and you're looking for a non-alcoholic beverage, Suntory All Free is the freaking bomb. Mmm, look, you can see the cartilage. There's like some meat there too. Oh, the cartilage. I love cartilage. It's chewy, crunchy, but it's like one of those really salty, salty snacks because they put the peppers, they put the salt, and it just goes well with the freaking beer. Then let's try this grape. Mmm, really soft, and they've added kind of like a pepper to it, like a chili pepper, so it's a little bit spicy, but not so much. And it's still really, really moist, so you can see it's like dripping. So I used to get these little side dishes when I'm not that hungry, but I do have to eat something for dinner, like after work. It has a lot of pepper and salty, but it's perfect for beer. Oh, this one's soft. Mm. This is exactly like my mom used to make. They broil it for like long hours and like the taste is like sucked in, in the meat. So good. It's, it's not salty at all. It's like yasashi, like nice homemade kind of taste. Number seven, Oyakodon from 7-Eleven. So 7-Eleven is definitely the largest convenience chain in Tokyo. And recently, they've upped their variety game. I mean, look at all these scrump diddly just treats. definitely smell the chicken in this one. You can also smell the nori. That's nice. The egg kind of melted when we cooked it and it looks still pretty good. It's what's nice is like to keep the rice fresh. They have a little like this tray for just the meat and the egg and for the sauce and then after you cook it then you take the, the toppings and then you put it on top of the rice. All right. I can eat chicken all day so no matter what if it has chicken in it I'm probably gonna love it. Mmm. The chicken is nice and tender. It's it's not breast meat, it tastes more like thigh meat, which I really love. I really love dark meat. The meat isn't dry at all. The egg is pretty nice itself, man. I really like the smell of like this Japanese home cooking kind of smell. I like Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, I just had like a really good bite with the part has a lot of yolk. <laughs> Chicken has a strong taste. Uh, no wonder like everything else has a really like a light flavor, but like that's to go with this like strong taste chicken, which is really good. Oh, I'm gonna buy this next time. That's really good. Next, give it to me. Oden. Number six, Oden from Lawson. Every convenience has Oden in the winter, but Lawson is my favorite because I love their selection and the soup dashi is light yet rich. One of the things I really like about Lawson is it has a lot of toppings that you can actually get to it. It's all free. For example, you have green onions, you have a yuzu kosho, karashi, which is like a mustard. You have yuzu, which is kind of like a citrus taste to it. Deli sauce, smoked kunse, miso tare. So I'm gonna put some yuzu kosho. What's nice is they have this lip right here to put your sauces. And then let's put some karashi. I love yakitori. One of my favorite things in yakitori is seseri. And they actually have seseri at this Lawson. Check this out. Seseri is actually the neck part of the chicken. And it's super good. Mmm. Because it's in the odin, they're just soft and tender. And I also like skune. It's like, kind of like a chicken meatball. Mmm. It's super juicy, and then when you bite into it, you can feel like the little cartilage, the little crunchy parts, and I really, really love that part of it. All right, let's try that with a yuzu. Mmm, that's good to have the, the yuzu too. All right, so let's taste the soup. So it's kind of like a fish broth. It's very, very light, so you know it's not it doesn't overpower it. All of the oden here slowly cooks over time, so all of the juices from all the different pieces blend in together and mix together, so you kind of get like this interesting and delicious oden taste. I also picked up a fish cake with gobu root and chikawa, a bamboo-shaped fish paste cake. All right, so let's take this and dip it into the karashi, which is a mustard. Get that in there, you can see. Mmm, 
Mmm, has a little kick from the mustard. Really good tofu. I love it. I just love how you can get all of this food at the convenience store. It is so convenient. Really convenient. Ah, daikon jump. I missed it. Yeah, it's like hidden all the way back in the bottom. I think my favorite for then is daikon. So I like miso. They use not half. Miso in Tokyo area, only in Aichi, because that's how we eat in Aichi. I'm from Aichi, but like lately, I think it's getting more common. Honest opinion, if you don't like it, just say it. It's good, it's good. Number five, Menchi Katsu from Lawson. So I love Lawson's fried food. Karagi kun is delicious, roasted chicken hits a spot, but like the kid who sends money home, I love Menchi Katsu the most. Look at that, it's just golden brown, still warm to the touch. It's actually kind of like hefty, pretty heavy, like you can feel like this is going to be like very, very filling. It's so crispy. You can feel the crunch and you can see the juice is still flowing inside. It's like so juicy. I can just mm, suck the juices out. Super soft and you can taste it. It's just a little bit sweet. Mm. Mm. It's all in my mouth. It's so good. Oh wow. It's super soft. Usually like a menchikatsu, the meat is packed in. But like it's really soft, like almost gooey. It looks good. Oh. Mm, saku -saku. I taste the onion and black pepper. It's really flavorful. I really like it. I usually don't like fried food at convenience because it's always like really crispy. But this is really crispy. Number four, carbonara from 7-Eleven. <sighs> It feels like I'm smelling a lot of cheese and butter. You can smell the bacon too, and it's kind of like that pepper bacon. Ah, so excited for this one. When you first bought this, it just looked like a bunch of cheese on pasta. But now that we've heated it up, you can see that's melted and kind of liquefied a little bit. Let's take the first bite. Wow, that's really creamy. Mm, and the bacon is really nice with it too. You can tell it's a little bit salty, but I think that's kind of expected. Whoa, I just got all over myself. I have a problem with food getting all over my clothes. Mm. Mm. It almost tastes like there's just a lot of different cheeses in here, so it's like really hard to tell. It's really good. And when you're at home, woohoo! My favorite, Tabasco sauce. Maybe just a little bit of pepper. But definitely, you can taste the calories in here. This is not the healthiest meal, but still pretty good. Mm. I don't really like carbonara, but since it's Paula's most favorite pasta, I'm gonna eat. Mm. Not, not bad. It's a good choice that you put the Tabasco in there. A little kick. Bacon. Mm, not so oily. I hate oily bacon. Mm, they're really meaty and smoky. Number three, Mentaiko Carbonara Udon from Family Mart. As you guys can see, I love carbonara, but this one is a little bit different because this is udon noodles, which is very, very Japanese, and it has some mentaiko. You can actually smell the mentaiko a little bit, but you can actually smell the cheese even more. And what's super cool is you just put that egg, there's an onsen tamago, which means that it's half cooked egg and you just drop it in there and you mix it inside and then it creates this like awesome masterpiece. I love how the mentaiko mixes in well with the egg and then you have the carbonara cheesy sauce and then the udon is the thick noodles. I also like the little pieces of bacon. It adds meat flavor to it, which is nice. Delicious. I like udon, especially the one at Family Mart. It's like safe noodle to buy. It's super cheesy. Itadakimasu. I don't really taste the mentaiko. I taste more cheese. The noodles al dente. I wish I can taste more mentaiko though. Ah, oh, I miss Tsurutonta. Tsurutonta was really good. Number two, Hire Katsu sandwich from Family Mart. Hire Katsu Sando. It's really nice because it comes in like this premium wrapping. 
There was actually two different Hidekatsu sandwiches. There was just the regular one, and this is the premium one. Look at inside. You see the Hidekatsu. It's a pretty freaking thick piece. It's actually cold to the touch. It just came from the refrigerator section. So, I mean, it's not super cold, but you're not actually supposed to heat this up, which it says in the package. So let's take the first bite. Take a big freaking bite. Mmm. It has a layer of the katsu sauce, which is a little bit sweet, but then you have the bread layer, which kind of you know, balances out the taste. And then the meat is really thick. It's not so juicy, but it's like very, very meaty. This will fill you up. It's almost like a gut bomb. I like the sauce. It's uh, no, no, sauce. Where's the shire sauce? Say it again. Where's the shire sauce? Worst, worst the shire sauce. <laughs> worst the shire sauce. Worst the shire sauce. <laughs> I can't even. Worst the shire sauce. <laughs> worst the shire sauce. Okay, yeah, and that's really good. The outer layer is like soaking that all the sauce. The katsu is pretty crispy too. And number one, fried chicken from Daily. I love fried chicken. So every kombini has their own version of fried chicken. This is from Daily. What a lot of people say is that Fami Chiki is the best chicken in all of the convenience stores. But my favorite is actually from Daily. I would say that Fami Chiki is actually pretty freaking good, uh, but I kind of like the Daily fried chicken a little bit better. The Daily fried food selection is uh, so freaking big. So when I want to get my fried food on, I go to Daily. So moist and juicy. Look at that. Mm. It's so delicious, it doesn't even need any sauce. You can just eat it just like this. Mm. It's freaking amazing. I eat like 10 more of these. Oh, so how did you hold it? You have an iron hand. Okay, so I don't really care about the fried chicken, but I'll, I'll eat it. Mm. It's really crispy. It's good, right? Yeah, I can't say it's bad. It's tasty. Outer layer, you can see like spices mixed in. So that's probably like where all the flavor is coming from, which is pretty good. I like it. Mmm. Mm. Mm. All the way to the bone. No soldiers left behind. So that wraps up my top 10 favorite kombini food. Now, obviously it's not as healthy as if you were to make it yourself, and maybe you could probably make better food on your own, but if you're in a pinch and you just wanna try some Japanese food, you don't have a lot of time, then convenience store food is pretty freaking convenient. So, if you like this video, help me out and hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. And like always, if you wanna see more of my adventures in Tokyo and in Japan, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys soon.